Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to install root required apps on the Palm Pre using a program called Preware. If you're not there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for how to install root required apps on the Palm Pre procedure. Alright, before you begin, this should work on all Palm Pre's, regardless of whether they're GSM, Sprint, or Verizon. Um, please let us know though if it doesn't work for you or if it does so we can kind of weed out some uh, issues with the procedure if there are any. Uh, the other thing is this technically uh, is not gaining root access via the command line. That's a different procedure. But to be honest, most people need root access via the command line to install custom apps uh, that require root access. So since this does that automatically um, in a much easier way, this is pretty much what you're going to need as far as gaining root access. Um, we might do a procedure later on on how to actually gain root access by a command line, but to be honest, most people aren't going to use it except for major developers. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to download all the necessary files. There are three files that you need to download. Uh, the first one is just verifying which Java you have on your computer. Um, if you don't have the latest Java, use this same website to update. As you can see, I don't. I'm going to click the update uh, and let this install. Okay, after you've downloaded and installed uh, the latest Java, you're going to download those two files beneath it, the WebOS Doctor and the WebOS Quick Install. Download them and just save them to your computer. Okay, while you're waiting for that stuff to download, you can put your phone into developer mode by beginning to type uh, what's written on the site. And you should see developer mode enabler pop up. We're going to tap on that. We're going to tap on. It's going to ask us to reset the device. Don't worry, it's actually rebooting the device, not erasing anything. So click that and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone reboots, we're going to plug it in by USB cable to our computer. When it asks on the screen, you're going to say, just charge. Okay, now the phone's plugged in and it's on charge only mode. We're going to double click the WebOS quick installer dot jar that we downloaded. Okay, when you open this for the first time, uh, it should tell you to plug in your phone and click OK. Uh, you're going to do that and it's going to attempt to install Novacom. Now, if it didn't install correctly and you still can't see the phone, we're going to go to File, Options. Then we're going to click Attempt Novacon Reinstallation and wait for that to start. Okay, once it's done installing, you'll see a, a quick pop-up of uh, the command prompt for like two seconds and then it goes away. Once that goes away, you can click Close. Then we're going to click on the down arrow button. Okay, once it populates the list, we're going to choose the drop down at the top and select WebOS Internal Feeds All. And then we're going to select Package Manager Service, Preware, and we're going to click Download and wait for those to download. Once they're done downloading, you can click Close on this window. You should see the two files in the WebOS Quick Install program. And finally, we're going to click Install. It's going to say uh, that it's requesting a script. Say yes always and let it continue. Okay, once it's done, you can close the, the uh, quick install app. Okay, and then you can unplug your phone from the computer. Slide up the keyboard. We're going to hold down orange, sim, and R. And the phone should reboot. Okay, once the phone reboots, you should be able to open the launcher. And you'll see Preware as an icon. Just click on it. Uh, and let it update itself for the first time. It's got to update all its feeds. It's going to take a while. It's highly recommended that you use Wi-Fi whenever you open that app. Um, so once you do that, open it and let it install all its feeds. Okay, finally, Preware will open up. Uh, and you'll see it says available packages, installed packages, etc. We're going to clean that up a little bit by going up to the top, tapping Preferences. Click Show Available Types. Make sure all of those are Yes, except for the last one. Show Other Types will make that No. We'll hit Back. 
and there it's organized a little bit better where these are applications these are themes and these are patches so enjoy click through those and check out some of the themes the the patches which change uh, functions of the pre itself uh, and then re required applications and just homebrewed applications enjoy